heartbreak met the Anawan Brave at in the semifinals, but they find consolation the day after, claiming the third place trophy with a win over Cowden Herring. Anawan All-Stater Selena Van Hefty takes to the hardwood once again, playing on that severely injured ankle, and she plays well early on, scoring in the paint to tie the game up. But Micah Jones of the Hornets also is a force on the inside, as she gets the layup, putting her team on top by a bucket. Later on, Jones at it again as she gets the rebound basket again as this one remains very close. Later, Megan Foes hits the top of the key off the window and in. That three ball cuts a lead for Cowden down to 10 to nine. Later, Maddie Jackson spots up for Anawan and she scores and Anawan leads 13 to 10 through one quarter of play. Then in the second quarter from three point land, Cowden's Ava Paraleski knocks down the bomb. Her team is back up front by two points. Then Paige Randall of Anawan Answers as well with the three ball as they seesaw back in front. The Bravettes lead 20 to 19. Then Megan Foes inside to Selena Van Hefty for the layup. It's 22-22 at the intermission. In the third quarter, it's the spin cycle for Cowden's Jones as she scores, and it's 27 to 24 Hornets. Selena comes back for Anawan, the rebound and the beautiful wraparound as it cuts the lead for the Hornets down to a single digit. Soon after, Cowden again with the big rebound battle. Eventually, it goes out to Chandler Ward as she knocks down the three ball and her team is on top 30 to 26. Back come the Bravettes again. It is Selena Van Hefty as she puts in two of her 16 points, but Cowden delivers as Autumn Riley hits the long two and uh, their team leads. The Hornets on top 32-31 heading to the fourth quarter play. Now Jones had to sit part of the fourth quarter with an injury of her own, but she did come back. Morgan Van Hefty for Anawan drives with the layup there. Later on, Maddie Jackson runs the break. She finishes the deal and they are on a hot streak on top 39-32. Bravettes leading. Cowden with one final push. Jones back in the game as she delivers, cutting a lead to 40 to 35. She ends up with 12 points, but it's the Bravettes ending up a winner. Jackson combines finesse and strength, and she's fouled on her way to a big 16-point performance. And the Anawan Bravettes claim third place honors with a 47-37 victory to end the season with a school record, tying that record with 30 wins and just three losses. We ended the season in a win. I know not a lot of teams can do that. Only two in 1A can do that. So it's amazing that we pushed and got this win. What was the difference in the game as you saw it? I mean, obviously, the, their really good girl got hurt uh, towards the end, too, but she battled back, too. I mean, you guys had to make plays down the stretch. I know both teams were not going to go down without a fight, and I'm glad that we just pushed a little bit harder and came out with the win. About two, I mean, is there a level of satisfaction? Of course you wanted to, to win the game coming up here, too, but I mean, you guys have had such a tremendous year, too. Is there a, a level of, uh, you know what, we did great this year? I'm very proud of my team right now. I mean, the fact that we're even here to begin with is amazing for everybody. Next season's a long ways off, but it's not a long ways off, too. I mean, um, last year when, when you guys got knocked out, uh, I know you wanted to keep that, that memory fresh in your mind, too. Is that kind of the, the theme of this weekend as you kind of look ahead to next year? Um, absolutely. I'm very excited for next year. We still have all of our starters back. We're, so, we're still going to be a great team. What's the caution as you go into that, too, you know, that, you know, we all know you're going to be great and you're going to be this targeted team, too, but you guys are so smart. I mean, you're basketball smart and you, you never get ahead of yourselves. How important is it to keep that, uh, that mental attitude of just kind of joy in playing basketball? Uh, you got to love the game to play it. Otherwise, otherwise, just get off the court. You, you're just wasting time. You got. You have to love it. You have to enjoy it. Otherwise, there's no point. Uh, that's what we were talking about in the locker room. We were talking about all the teams ahead of that had played for Anna One before us, and how they never had the opportunity to even play for third place, and they would love it. So it kind of got us motivated to do it for previous teams too that want to be here just as bad. Is it easy to think in those terms when you look up in the stands and see those former players? Um. It actually gives me a little bit of pride that they were here cheering us on because I know it's got to be hard for them looking down wishing that they could be here, but it's awesome that they can still come here to show their support. How important was it to you not only to play great basketball, but to represent your school with a really high honor too? 
yeah, to play with class, we always, we, that's just animal and basketball. It's just embedded in us to just do it, so. Talk about it too, I mean, obviously there's a lot of great girls back next year and uh, you get to move on, you know, kind of thing. What, what's your message to the to the girls that are coming back as someone who's, who's done, you know, and who's really invested a lot in this program too? Um, I just want them to keep working hard and keep doing what they're doing and keep playing animal and basketball and showing everybody what it's all about. And I want them to make it back down here and do even better than we did this year. What do you take away from having gone through this whole experience uh, from the first time uh, you, you laced up some uh, tennis shoes as a little girl? <laughs> um, I don't even know. Just a lot. Built a lot of friendships, that's for sure. We've all had our ups and downs with each other, but at the end of the day, we're always there for each other. So these friendships I'm going to carry with me forever. Everyone has their days where they're feeling it. Yesterday was Morgan. She hit, played a good game for us. And today my teammates helped me open, and I just knocked down the shots that were over there. How enriching has this experience been this year? I mean, even the last five or six days when you guys faced the ultimate adversity of losing such a great player uh, who couldn't play 100%. I mean, she works hard despite her injury. And like I said before, she's, we're really proud of her for doing that. Are there some great life lessons that you take out of this? You know, that, you know, it's still just a game, but man, it's a game. It's great stuff, a great stage. Yeah, it's great to be down here. All the hard work finally pays off. What do you think the theme's going to be as you guys think about next year? I mean, obviously going to take some time off, but there's so much potential. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm so excited for next year. We get two girls coming in from Allman, and then we have our juniors coming back again, so I'm super excited. We knew from the very beginning that only two teams could get that last win of the year in 1A, and we wanted to be one of them, and that was our goal all along physical game again out there too. Talk about that, you know, that's some things that made you persevere when uh, a lot of bodies banging around. Yeah, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. None of the games down here were. Every team that made it down here was really good this year and basketball is basketball. It's going to get physical sometimes and you have to play through it. Talk about how motivated the girls were. Sometimes that third place game is a, is a letdown, but it, at many times it becomes the best game of, of the entire tournament because everybody is so loose. Too. Yeah, well, on our way down here, we told each other we didn't want to get fourth because we'd kind of feel like we didn't belong down here, and we wanted to get one win down here, and it would have been nice to get that first place win, but the third place is okay. We're happy with ourselves. Well, how crazy is it that so many girls are back next year, too? And uh, I mean, it's a long ways off next season, is, but in a lot of ways, it's not a long ways off either. Yeah, it's definitely not a long ways off. We have to keep our focus next season, and we know those expectations will be there, and we have to work hard to meet them and exceed them. You know, given the adversity you guys face, even in the last four or five days, how's that speaking to you as a young person saying, you know what, there's lessons to be learned out of this, and you, you found out just um, the guts of some of the girls. Yeah, you can learn lessons through anything. Morgan Van Hefty's a freshman, and she led us these past few games all the way down here, and we learned from her, and we wanted to play for her, and we wanted to play for Selena, so it helped us out grow as a team and grow as individuals. Obviously, you have a leadership role already, but how does it speak to you that, uh, senior year kind of coming up and uh, taking it even up to a higher level. Yeah, I'm definitely going to push my leadership up on the team because no matter what, we have the experience down here and a lot of the girls coming back will have had the experience down here, but we all kind of need to be leaders and step it up. So many people get to see the business of basketball. You girls a bunch of goofballs too. I mean, how much fun was it, you know, just, uh, just being with each other? It was great. This is an amazing experience and we got to hang out down here and have one last thing and this was, we knew when our last game would be. We didn't have to keep guessing, and we could just have fun with it and be ourselves, too. We talked about that. We wanted our seniors to go out on a winning note, and we wanted our uh, underclassmen to uh, go into next season with a win under their belt. Um, not many teams get to do that. Not many teams know when their last game's going to be, so we got to you know kind of have some heart-to-heart -heart before, uh, before the game started in the locker room, reflect on our season a little bit, and we'll be doing a lot more of that in the, uh, the next few days. But um, you know, we want we wanted to come out here and not make it a lackluster performance. Um, you know, just just going through the motions because we're not in the championship game. We wanted to show that uh, we have pride in our in our hometown of Anawan, and we wanted to finish strong. Sports is crazy, you know. It makes no promises, you know. And uh, who knew that was going to happen to Selena too? But uh, how enriching has these last five or six days been, just to see uh, the way the girls have grinded it out. It's just been great to see them pick each other up, um, just throwing the love at each other every second they get a chance to. Um, 
talking to each other, telling them that we can do this, we can pick up Selena in certain instances. Just the, the, the talk between them has been awesome to hear. It's everything that a coach wants to hear when they when they're uh, when they have their team together. Um, and then Selena herself is just one of the gutsiest performances I've ever seen this weekend. Uh, every time, you know, every time I talk about it, I start to tear up. And then when she came off at the end uh, there, you know, it was pretty impressive.